it going guys my name is tjp and welcome back to our final normal team rebuild of the uh well of nhl 24 we've got the vegas golden knights our final team defending stanley cup champions we're rebuilding them in quotes I, it's just called rebuild i mean we're gonna try to get some more championships i mean I, my assumption is we will probably not but you never know you never know we're gonna try to see if we can compete continue to compete uh, leave a like, subscribe, enjoy the content, comment out those videos, or socials, play the second channel, main channel down in the description. If you like the content from TJP, four seasons, injuries, morale, all that fun stuff's on, morale means are off, not that you'd see those anyway, they're just annoying, not meant to be realistic, and if you're mispronouncing some names, you're mispronouncing some names. Again, it's a video game at the end of the day, do not take this seriously. And with that all being said, let's uh, get on to the gameplay. Let's take a look at the roster before we look at the lines. I mean, this is the final time you will see me on this screen. So, Jack Eichel, top guy on the team. Uh, man, the middle legend himself from the Sabres. Uh, they traded for him uh, last year. Or was it two years ago? I think it was last year. Um, but yeah, anyways, Mark Stone. Uh, we got him. Uh, Peter Angelo. Uh, Shea Theodore. We got Jonathan March Salt. Uh, William Carlson. Chandler Stevenson. We got Vaughn Barbashev. Alec Martinez. Brady McNabb. Zach Whitecloud. Nicholas Haig. William Carrier. Uh, Nicholas Roy. Mike Mario. Paul Cotter. Brett Howden, Keegan Kolsar, uh, Daniel Miromanov, Miromanov, and then we got uh, Pachel, and then Horzak to round out the team. Now let's look at the goalies, of course. We've got our man uh, Aiden Hill, and then Logan Thompson. So yeah, Logan. Uh, but anyways, that's the team. Let's see the lines, see what Coach has us doing here with the lines uh top line plus four chem right now that's pretty good it's pretty solid second line looks pretty good as well i mean we maybe could have like could we do maybe something like this and get plus five have march assault be the the left line there uh left winger instead of the right winger and then you have stevenson play maybe um can carlson play right mm, he can't that's the thing right so i could do something like this um i'm trying to think here how would i want to go about this i think that's about right and then defensively i mean that seems to be okay so let me take a look at the goalies uh, and see what's what's happening here so goalies are looking just like that uh it's decent but I, I think we can maybe make a move but i might just keep the team as is for this uh this season i mean unless i want to get like a you know better on the better on the bottom wing you know bottom forwards maybe just another center another winger i can look what's out there in the market uh if i decide to make a move i'll let you guys know otherwise we'll probably just keep the team as is to like the middle of the season and maybe make a move then well, let's, yeah, I guess we might as well just see what's out there. We do have our first round pick. Don't have our fourth. Have an extra seventh rounder this year. And after that, we have all our picks. But then a seven round pick from the Blues for Sammy Play. Just an extra uh, winger for us. A little forward. Uh, bottom line. Uh, you know, a little bit more depth. Nothing too crazy with that move. I think this team, you yeah, know, we'll see how we do in the sim. I'll see you guys right in the middle of the season. We'll assess the team going from there. And it uh, should be a good time. So we're 27, 20, and 3. Uh, 57 points in the Pacific right now is what we're looking at. So let's take a look here at the squad uh, and see the stats. Um, take a look to see how we're doing. So Jonathan March Assault's our top guy, 50 points right now on the team. Pretty good. Jack Eichel, 42, 41 from Carlson, 38 from Stevenson, Stone with 32, Drangelo and Theodore with 29, Cartier with 28. We got our your assist leaders there, Stevenson and Carlson leading the way. We got six guys, at least 20 assists so far. You got your goal scoring, Jonathan March saw leading the way at 28 on the year. He's got 14 power play points as well, 10 from Peter Angelo. So those are your top guys there on the power play. Just two guys in double figures so far. I can see 91 hits there from Chandler Stevenson, 82 from Peter Angelo and Barbashev. Uh, we've got block shots there, 75 from Theodore to lead the squad. They each giveaways and takeaways right here in case guys are curious. And then the goalies so far on the season, Hill... Eh, it could be doing better, but um, we got Robin Lehner up here. Robin Lehner, not Logan Thompson. So, cool stuff. Let's take a look at the team stats. And from a team perspective, I mean, with 3.16 goals for 3.10 goals against. So, 
I feel like we're okay on the scoring front. Nothing too crazy. Probably actually bottom half the league, if I'm being honest. Yeah, we are bottom half the league. Same thing with uh, the goal against. I imagine we're doing all right there. We're doing a little bit better on that front, actually, than we are scoring. So um, let's take a look here and see uh, if there's any moves that we can make. Otherwise, I might just keep the team as is for the rest of the season. So if I do make a move, I'll let you guys know. Otherwise, I'll see you at the end of the year. I do think we can maybe make in the, make the playoffs. I mean, it's a bit of a tight race right now, 57 points. Uh, but we're also not far away from the way. There's only three points behind them. The is piss poor sim engine. We did not make the playoffs. Uh, bad season. Um, uh, terrible second half of the season. I think we had some injuries uh, that occurred. But let's take a look at the stats here. So, yeah, you can see some guys definitely were in and out of the lineup here. March Salt, 79 points. Got scratched at the end of the season. 77 from Jack Eichel. 61 from William Carlson. Stone with the 53 from Stevenson. Peter Angel with 52. Same thing with Theodore. Barbershop up there. Roy. Get your assist leaders right there. Jack Eichel with 45. Got four guys at least 40. You got your March Salt with uh, 38 goals. 32 from Jack Eichel. So there's definitely some improvement for this team in the offseason for sure. You got uh, seven guys at least uh, power play points in the double figure category. And you got eight guys at least 100 hits. Nearly nine. Zach White Clad almost there, but not quite there. And the get block shot leaders, giveaway leaders, and takeaway leaders looking just like that. So look at the goalies, looking just like this. You got Hill, didn't do that great. And then Leaner, eh. Leaner could have been a little bit better. Uh, yeah, 4136, not definitely not going to cut it. At 87 points. We were almost there. We were almost there. But we, you know, decided to lose a bunch of games near the end of the season. Uh, but it is what it is. Now, if we take a look here at goals four per game, where were the Vegas Golden Knights? Well, we were right here. 3.23 goals for 3.21 goals against not too great in either of those categories so but there's definitely room for improvement three more seasons to go obviously just coming off a of stanley cup championship in real life but fortunately couldn't uh, have any success this year again some guys in another lineup so we'll see ends up winning the stanley cup and then go on to the off season and look at the awards oilers win the stanley cup cool good for them let's stop simulating and take a look at the awards so we've got them oilers president trophy winners beat the penguins look at that the individual words right here, McDavid, uh, Leon's up there. Do we need Vegas Golden Knights up here? I would assume we do not, and that is a correct assumption. Let's head on to the offseason, see what pick we're going to have. Should be interesting. So we're just going to be having uh, the pick number 14, which I guess is cool. All right, traded pick 14 away to Boston. Future's first round pick and a seventh round pick this year. Because I don't really need my pick, so I just wanted to get a future first. Um, yeah, so the class isn't that great, so we're just going to see with the rest of the draft and uh, uh, go on to the re-sign phase. At re-sign phase, I feel like a decent amount of our team is locked up. We do want to keep March Assault around, a few of these other guys, so we'll offer a contract, see if anybody, the, any of these guys want to stay around. Throw March Assault, like a two-year deal, $9 million a year, I think that's fair. Then we'll try to also offer Stevenson. We'll give him a little bit uh, less years, but I think that should be okay. And then we'll just uh, pretty much try to bring back the rest of the guys and uh, try to run it back next year with hopefully some more talent and free agency. Just a little bit more added. Nothing too crazy to be added, just considering the fact we're not have too much money left over. And so does Martinez. March Salt resigns. So does Chandler Stevenson, which is cool. Cartier resigns. Michael Mario resigns. So we're probably not going to have too much money in free agency to uh, add more talent. Bob can be mainly more, more so depth purposes, but we do have most of our guys coming back on qualifiers as well, which is pretty good too. Uh, I will head on to free agency. I mean, we, like I said, we don't have much money. We'll try to see if we can add some more talent, like I said, some depth, and then go on from there. All right, I grabbed Sam Lafferty. Just another uh, forward there. Could also play a little bit of left winger as well. Uh, welcome to team Sam Lafferty. All right, grab John Leonard as well. John Leonard um, on the squad. Owns from the team, uh, for our team. That's going to be pretty much about it for me. I mean, we have uh, Muraminov to get back, so we'll try to get him back and then, uh, yeah, head on to start a second season. I feel like our team is pretty good. Uh, we got Steven Sid, Eichel, and March Salt. Top line's got plus five chem. Second line doesn't have any chem, but overall wise and talent wise, it's pretty good. Third line, decent, plus one chem there. Bottom line's a little bit iffy, but 
Now we'll see. Defensively, plus five chem. Shea Theodore and Alex Petrangelo is pretty good. We got McNabb and White Cloud, pretty solid there, plus one chem. And then, you know, the bottom line on defense, nothing too crazy there. But and we got Thompson and Hill, goalies. Uh, so, yeah, let's see what this team does. I'll see you guys at, uh, you know, the February point where if we need to make a move, we'll make a move. Otherwise, we'll make a move before then. Maybe we'll claim some guys off waivers. But other than that, I mean, this is pretty much going to be the team for now. And, yeah, hopefully we can make the playoffs this year. I think at 56 points right now, a bunch of teams with 56. Pretty tight, uh, tightly packed here uh, between 2 and 8. Only 5 points separate. Uh, Oilers look like they have a nice handle on the Pacific Division, though, but everybody else is kind of in the running. Uh, not, a, not very good on the point total, though. Only Marshall with 34. 33 from Barbashev, 32 from Carlson, 30 from Eichel, uh, Stevenson, 29 from Eichel, 26 from Stone. So we were kind of balanced, but I feel like at the same time, it's just you would think there would be someone with like 40 or 50 points, but no, nobody. Marshall with 25 assists, 22 from Carlson, Barbashev with 22, 19 from Stevenson on the assist. Goal scoring, 14 from Eichel and Roy to read lead the team five guys in double figures but yeah it's i feel like our scoring isn't too high this year uh you get your power play when there's a two how our hits block shots give us and takeaways looking well they're looking just like this uh 71 takeaways from mark stone so far to lead the team got giveaway 64 from Romanov. uh we've got block shots there's 71 from peter angelo and he also has the most hits 92 91 there from stevenson and barbara as well you got your goalies right there thompson and hill and thompson for doing pretty well as a goalie and hill's been solid for the most part yeah, like I said, we're 26, 20, and 4, which isn't too bad. Um, I do think, like I said, our defense has been really good this season. I don't know if our offense has been that good, uh, and it hasn't been. 2.72 goals for per game is uh, certainly near the bottom. In fact, it's the second worst in the league. However, our defense has been absolutely elite with the best. So defense, great. Offense, not so much. Uh, do we try to get a scorer here maybe to improve the lines? When we could see what's out there in the market uh i'll look but if i can't i mean as long as you continue to play good defense maybe the offense will step it up second half of the season uh let's see what's out there i could move leaner as well i feel like i want to move him i don't i feel like he just doesn't really serve a purpose for us too to the islanders we're getting ourselves kaylor yamamoto just a forward uh not sure that's gonna help us out too much on the scoring front but you know just having an extra forward might be helpful for us uh, another winger we'll see um hopefully like i said we can keep the defense up and try to make the playoffs it's gonna be tough but because it's very tightly tightly packed on the kings let's see how we did we were at 41 30 and 11 that is a 93 point team we're taking on the kings who are a 95 point team and before we even take them on let's take a look at the standing stats and all that fun stuff so we're gonna look at the standings first so you can see 93 points making it into the plus 3.05 goals for per game and 2.62 goals again so we did maintain our level of uh defensive prowess and we did score a little bit better still not great still near the bottom half of the league for sure but good enough to um you know make playoffs which is all that matters i mean your defense was at 2.62 best in the national hockey league let's take a look at these player stats here we've got ourselves march salt with 70.69 from stevenson and eichel which is nice 60 from carlson barbershop 55 54 from stone you can see 42 from nicholas roy uh, March the leading team with assist, 50. You see two guys with 44. Actually, literally, these guys are the exact same goals, assist points, the gap. Then you got your uh, Stevenson and Eichel up there with the goals. Five guys at least 20 goals. Which power play point leaders looks like we had six guys in double figures, and that is exactly what we got. William Carlson leading the way on that front. Hits block shots, giveaways, takeaways. In case you're curious, get seven guys at least 100 hits. Good block shots right there. 119 for Peter Angel lead the, th lead the team. You got Miromanov uh, with 101 giveaways and takeaways. There were 103 from Stevenson, 102 from Stone, and then it goes down from there. Thompson was excellent as a goalie. Might have been one of the best goalies in National Hockey League. Hill was pretty good too, but you know not as good as uh, Thompson. So fantastic season from Thompson. Now the question is, can we beat the Kings? Let's find out. Game one against Los Angeles. How are we going to fare? Game one will be a 
Five to two win. Very nice start to that series. Can we win game two potentially? We sure cannot. So we're down. Uh, it's tied one to one. And we're going to go on two to one shot of the East Sim Engine. Can we maybe win game three and not even up the series? We cannot. And we are down three to one, which is the score that we lost in game four. Ironically enough, right? So the question is, can we turn it around here, win three straight games? I mean, it's possible, but it's unlikely that that will happen. So we'll see. We're already down 1-0. Shout out to the ASIM engine. And uh, I'm going to fast sim it since, like I said, we got two more seasons to go. We're just going to keep fast simming. Third period, we will not fast sim. We will watch. Even though we are down 2-0, we cannot seem to score a goal whatsoever. But we finally got one there um, on Dreidger. But then can't even be happy about it as we give up another goal right away. Dorofeyev. Interesting. Well, we're going to lose this game. So... I, I already knew that once we uh, blew with well once we lost four straight so again the sim did not want to be on our side today but that's okay we get like I said two more seasons maybe had some injuries I feel like we did if we're putting we're putting in some guys that I feel like did, did not even play at all this year we had to have had some injuries I don't know but obviously didn't do well on the ice so we're gonna have to figure out a way to uh, improve the team going forward uh, yeah let's uh see who ends up winning the stanley cup going to the off season try to see if we prove this team hurricanes win the stanley cup good for them i guess let's stop the sim if we can and look at the awards we've got ourselves like i said the carolina hurricanes winning the stanley cup oilers are the president trophy winners again but they didn't get it out as blues at the individual awards do we have any vegas golden knights here? i would assume we do yep thompson the Xena Trophy, as well as William M. Jennings getting the, uh, William, yeah, yeah, Hill getting the uh, William M. Jennings Trophy, right? So, I don't know what I was just thinking there. I kind of froze up for a moment. But, yeah, our goalies were pretty good, I guess. Let's head on to the offseason, try to see if we can add some more talent to the team. Uh, for who, the guy that went number one, Emelin, 84 overall elite potential. So, he will end up being like a 90 or something. Um, I figured I was going to get him. I wanted to get the number one overall pick just so we could add like a nice, really good young guy to the team. And uh, we do need love wingers. So welcome to the squad. Uh, and I'm glad that uh, Detroit did that. We still keep our Boston Bruins pick that we traded for. So maybe if they're bad, that could be valuable. But I don't think so. I want to make sure I resign Shea Theodore. He does not want to stay with us, though. Uh, so we're going to probably have to overpay for him a little bit just for him to stay. Not too much, but yeah. And then Emily will all give him a contract. He should be on our National Hockey League roster. And yeah, we'll keep like, you know, around some of the other guys that might want to stay on the team for another season and then um, head on to the off season, free agency, see if there's any way we can add some more talent to the team. All right, so we signed Max Jones, Aiden Hill wants to test. We got McNabb back, Shea Theodore rejects. Mike Lauda re-signs, Howden rejects, he, Colsar, we got Thompson back. So, and then we signed our rookie. I would like to keep Shea Theodore, though. We've got a bunch of guys on qualifiers. So let's see if we can keep Shea Theodore. That's kind of the main thing. I want to make sure we keep him. Uh, we have enough money, so I'm going to try to offer another contract. I might have to overpay for him even more than I initially thought. All right, I was able to re-sign Shea Theodore, but Aiden Hill wants to test one of our goalies. So I'm going to try to see if we can get him back, afford him. So we just got Vizmelka. So he'll be our new backup goalie or maybe even starter. Who knows, but... We got him on our squad. All right, traded for Mason Appleton for the Jets. Traded away Yamamoto and this uh, rookie that we had. Or so someone in our organization didn't have a contract. I couldn't say his name. Something. Anyways, yeah. The reason I did that, Yamamoto didn't accept his qualifier. So I was like, let me just get a forward. So yeah, we got Apple. So to start the third season, let's take a look at the lines here. Didn't make much changes to them. I mean, this is going to be the team. Uh, like the top line, we got our rookie up there that we uh, traded for from the Red Wings. So plus five count on the top line. Middle line does not, I mean, second line does not have any cam, but it's good overall wise. Plus one line in third, and then bottom line's a little bit, it's okay. Just no cam. And then, yeah, top line defensively, plus five, plus one cam on the second line, and third line there, right? Looks all right. Get your goalies, Thompson, Vishmelka. We'll see how this team does. I mean, I think we can make the playoffs again. The question is, can we get out of the first round this year? Maybe show some progression and get maybe to the second round, maybe the conference finals for lucky. We'll see. All right, so we're underperforming for sure. 22, 22, and 8. Um, not really sure what's going on. Let's take a look here and see what's happening. Uh, but, yeah, the team is definitely underperforming. Let's see. So Jack Eichel, 57 points here. 52 from March Assault. Uh, we had some guys in not alignment. Nothing too crazy, though. 
and those are just four games two from uh, march assault you can see there the uh, point leaders you got your assist leaders right there in case you guys are curious 36 from jack eichel lead the team two guys above 20 seven guys in double figures on uh, the goals nobody in double di digit power play points and hits, block shots, giveaways, takeaways, in case you are curious. Stevenson leading the way there, 93. 26 from White Cloud on the block shots, giveaways right there. Korzak and takeaways. We got 64 from Stevenson. So, again, slow it down if you want and pause it. Uh, Thompson not having a good season this year. Not as good as last year for sure. Vejmelka has been okay. Nothing too crazy out of him. And, yeah, you can see we are struggling a bit this year. Uh, we're still not really scoring a lot, 2.98. I mean, it's definitely better than we were last year, but our defense has taken a big nosedive this year, 3.21. Uh, so let's see the uh, point totals. As you can see, yep, not doing too great. Near the bottom of the league, and then defensively not good as well. So let's see if there's any moves we can make out there. I mean, I guess it's okay defensively, but still not as good as you know last year. I'll see what's out there in the market, try to see if we can make a couple trades, and try to improve this team to maybe make a playoff push this year. Lavery and three first round picks to the Ducks. We're getting ourselves Leo Carlson. I feel like that's definitely going to help us out uh, tremendously. Young guy. He's going to continue to improve. And he's going to be very good for our forward lines. So let's see what happens. Uh, go to the end of the season and try to make the playoffs this year. Hopefully. If not, definitely next year. So another embarrassing uh, season right here 36, 35, and 11. Um, not very good whatsoever. Um, down here but you know carlson 85 points lead the team good move there i think he's gonna end up being good for us going forward though uh 79 for michael march double 75 61 from stone you guys can see the rest there there's the rookie uh 61 assists there from carlson lead the way 50 for michael 47 for march assault 41 for stone 40 from theodore you got your goals uh five guys at least 20 which is nice to see power play points i can see 20 there from carlson Six guys in double figures overall. Um, and you got your hit leaders looking like that. Six guys, at least 100 hits. You got your block shots. 101 there, piece between Shea and Zach. And then uh, giveaways and takeaways. Looking just like that. And from quarter Zach on the giveaways. Ugh. And takeaways, 97 from Stone, 93 from Mark Cole. March is 91. You got uh, Stevenson with 91, and it goes on from there. Goalies, yeah, a bit of a down season. For Thompson, Vision Milk was okay as a backup. Nothing new crazy but let's look at the standings like i said you know bad not a great year 2.88 3.01 uh so missed out in the playoffs but we do have one more season which is nice but at the end of the day we're gonna make the playoffs next year so like i said our scoring uh near the bottom of the league we gotta pick that up next year and then um i mean defensively ended up being pretty solid 3.01 but like i said we gotta be able to score more so let's see when's the stanley cup going to the off season look at the awards and then fourth final season try to get back to the playoffs penguins win the stanley cup penguins win the stanley cup let's see this uh awards and what do we got we've got penguins maple leaves coyotes penguins individual awards do we have any golden knights we're gonna have emelin called a memorial trophy which makes a lot of sense and then it goes on from there all right let's head on to the our pick would have been pick eight all right, so I want to be able to re-sign Jack Eichel. Um, I'm going to give him a contract. Uh, he should want to re-sign. I mean, I wouldn't. I don't see why we wouldn't accept that contract. March Assault, same thing. We'll give him a contract. Uh, we can give him a one-year deal since it doesn't really matter since this is the final season. Uh, so we'll try to save as much money as we can for the free agency. And again, maybe try to round out the roster a little bit. It looks like Haig does not want to re-sign a contract here, but we'll give him, like I said, just so we can get him on a cheaper deal. Uh, cheaper asking price so we'll see if we can end up re-signing some of these guys and then head on to free agency and try to add some more talent to the team max jones re-signs Nathan appleton rejects mcnab rejects march assault rejects carrier rejects i think Mario. yep okay a lot of these guys want to test not good all right we got to stop simulating i gotta make sure i overpay then for jack eichel because i want to make sure i don't lose him i don't want to lose march assault so let's uh try to get these guys back on the team but I had to overpay to get back Eichel, so basically March assault has gone, unfortunately. So we did re I did sign Oscar Sunkiss as well as Anthony Mantha. Just some wingers, forwards, help us out. Granny grabbing Ronnie Attard for our system. I'm grabbing a veteran in Jeff Carter, uh, you know, to help out our team, too. So I think that's going to be pretty much about it from May. I'll see you guys start the fourth final season. Final season, let's take a look at the lines. Um, on the offensive side of the ice, we got our top three lines with Ken. They look pretty good. The top line looks great. Second line's solid. Third line's good. Fourth line is eh, but it, you know, it'll, it'll be it'll suffice. Defensively, we got all chem and all lines. 
Top line's obviously really good. And then our goalies are still our goalies with Thompson and Vegmelka. I'm hoping in this fourth final season we get back to the playoffs. So then I'm going to find out to simulate. If I need to make a move with the demand, I, I will. And I might just to make one more small trade and try to give ourselves some more talent. But for now, this is going to be the team. I'll see you guys in February where hopefully we are, you know, fine for a playoff spot. All right, so this season, 33-13-6. We're looking good this year. Uh, one of the better teams in the National Hockey League. So we are doing well. Mark Stone leading the way with point totals, 57 so far in the season. And uh, 55 from Carlson. Eichel with 53, 45 from Emelin, our rookie that we drafted last season that we traded for. 42 from Carlson, 40 from Stevenson. So we're looking good on that front. You got Stone with most assists on the team. We got 24 goals from Eichel, 23 from Emelin, uh, which is good to see. Uh, we got your power play point leaders right there. We got four guys in double figures. 14 from Eichel to lead the squad. 13 from Carlson. Stone Emelin with 11. You got your most hits on the team. 106 so far from um, Isla Emelin. Uh, we've got block shot 64 from Peter Angelo and Hague lead the squad giveaways and then takeaways right here so you guys with 63 and then Thompson doing all right this year doing much better and then Dej Belka's back which has been great so keep it up I'm gonna try to make one small move but other than that that's pretty much about it I mean the team is one of the better teams in National Hockey League so we're scoring uh, at a very high clip 3.73 and then defending at a 2.81 clip, which is the best in hockey. So let's keep it up. I'm going to, like I said, try to make a small move, try to add more depth to the team. But other than that, that's going to be the squad. And we'll make one more trade and then simulate and hopefully have a good playoff. Three, round three first round picks to the uh, Oilers. We're getting ourselves Kill Thomas and then um, Paton. That's about it uh, from a small move there for the Oilers. Trying to see if that'll help us out the rest of the way. I'll see you guys at the end of the year. We should be able to make the playoffs. All right, 103 points. We're taking on the Sharks. Let's see if we can maybe beat them and advance the second round. Uh, they were a 96-point team. We were at 103 points. So you can see 48, 27, and 7. Carlson, 91 points lead the team. Canucks clinched the conference. Were they the best team in National Hockey League? No, the Bruins were. Uh, and uh, we were at... 3.67 goals for, 3.12 goals against, which is pretty good. So we'll see how well this team does in the playoffs. But before we even get to that, Carlson, 91 points, lead the team. 86 there from Stone. I go with 77, 75 from Emelin. 64 from Carlson. Oh, this Carlson. It's two Carlsons. 61 from Theodore, as you can see. Got your assist leaders right there. Leo with 67, 65 from Mark goes on from there got 42 goals there from Isla Emelin 37 from Jack Eichel 28 from William Carlson 24 from Leo Carlson spelled differently of course two guys at least 20 points on the power plays six guys in double figures overall your hits block shots giveaways and takeaways you've got eight guys at least 100 hits 149 from Mark Stone to lead the team he's got 103 takeaways as well which also leads the team giveaways there and then your block shots nobody with 100 Peter Angelo with 99 then Thompson and Vegmelk on the goalies. So, can we beat the Sharks and go to the second round? That is the question. Hopefully we can. We're going to start off with the Sim at T-Mobile Arena. First game of the series. Game one is going to go to the Vegas Golden Knights, which is us. So we win game one. Game two, can't win two in a row. Can we win game three, potentially? Yes, we can. 7-4. Let's try to win game four be nice if we could we do win it overtime four to three can we win game five no we cannot we lose in overtime let's not lose another one we do shout out the ea sim engine like i said we're gonna blow a 3-1 lead and that's gonna be how the video ends come on now EA. let's not do that let's not do that already down one zero shout out the boys one zero lead for the sharks uh, it would be very typical of ea to send me off with a blown 3-1 lead in this first round but there we go. At least we got two goals right back to back. I was complaining about EA trying to send me off. And then I was giving credit for them. And then they tied up the game. It's 2-2 two to two now. End of the first period. We are going to be up 4-2 to two as Barbershop gets a goal and Emily gets a goal. We're up 4-2. to two. Game 7, trying to advance to the second round. In our final season there. But we give up a goal right there to Cardwell. Now we're down only up 4-3. to three. But Petrangelo Angel goes right back. We are now 5-3 score. Make it 6-3 Stevenson. I am, oh my gosh, a lot of goals. Johnson, Zadina, Theodore. 7 to 5. I don't know why there's so many goals right now being scored. 8 to 5 now, Stevenson. 
No defense being played whatsoever right now. And we are now up 9-5. to five. If we score 10 in the playoffs, that'd be insane. I don't know if we will, but there's absolutely no defense being played. I have confidence we're going to win this game, though. Because we're up four goals, so... And we did score 10. Yeah, it was 6-10. to 10, And then, yeah, hey, got a little gimme goal. So, 10-6 to six in the playoffs. Wow. Crazy. So, we advance to the second round on a 10-6 game. And we're taking on Vancouver. You saw 109 points for them. They were at 52, 25, and 5. So let's see how we fare against them in the playoffs. Try to see if we can advance to the conference finals. Game 1 will be a 6-3 loss in favor of the Canucks and against us. We win Game 2, though, 4-1. to one. I like to win Game 3. We can't do that, though. Shout out the Ace Sim Engine, and we'd win Game 4, potentially. No, we are not. So now we're down 3-1. to one. <sighs> You can never make it easy for me, EA, huh? So now we're down 3-1. to one. Now, it'd be nice if they could blow through and leave the CPU, but I don't think that's going to happen. But let's find out. You never know. Need to go off to a good start here. Need to score a goal. Need to score a goal. And we do. Jack Eichel, 1-0. Makes it 2-0. Mantha, nice. Okay, we're up 2-0. But we give a goal there. Hogliner, 2-1 after the first period. But I'm glad we scored two. Otherwise, we'd only be tied. Now they get a power play to convert. Yes, they will. Blueger is going to get the goal right there. It's 2-2. Two two. Try to the EA Sim Engine for that one, as you guys love when I say that. I love saying that. I love saying try the EA Sim Engine is the best. Um, and 2K. 2K Sim Engine. I know some people hate that, but I'm not retiring that joke. F that. If you, if you bitch about it, bitch about it. It's a video. Like I said, Jesus Christ, calm the fuck down. You know? But anyways, uh, it's right, 3-2 now. We're down. We're down. We're down. It, it's not looking good. <laughs> not looking good. We're not taking the lead. And yep, we're gonna lose this series four to two. Yep, four to three. I mean, maybe we could tie it up, but even then, it's probably gonna go over time. We're gonna lose. And nope, we don't. We lose four to three. That is the end of the normal team rebuilds. Ends just like that. Four to three. Five games. Second round exit. Three defending chance in real life. Um, let's look at the playoff stats here, and then close up the video. So, Eichel looked like he had 16 to lead the team. Do we have any injuries? I'm not sure if we did, but you guys can see the leaders. Seven guys with these double figures, and, um, yeah. Zach Whitecloud got hurt. There you go. That's a problem. All right, let's see who wins the Stanley Cup. Look at the awards, and then close with the video. Penguins win the Stanley Cup. Let's look at the awards. Can we stop simulating EA? Wow, can we stop simulating? Can we stop simulating? Can we stop simulating? Please stop simulating. Please stop simulating. Please stop simulating for five seconds. For five seconds, please stop simulating. Oh, Lord have mercy. Okay. Okay, finally. Yikes. Okay. I wanted to close out the video, but I can't even do that when you continue to simulate. The Penguins, Bruins, Blackhawks beat the, uh, Penguins beat the Blackhawks. Do we have any Vegas Golden Knights? Um, we do not. Nope, no Vegas Golden Knights. All right, let's close up the video. All right, guys, well, that's it for me. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. Comment down below some videos or socials. Play the second channel, main channel down in the description if you like other content from me, TJP. So now we have our fantasy draft, and after that, I don't know what we're going to be doing in NHL, but um, yeah, I mean, we're done with all our normal team rebuilds. So yeah, fantasy draft should be fun. Excited about that one, but... Yeah, that's it. We've done all 32 teams. So if you guys missed a video, check out the description. we got a playlist down there like I just mentioned. And with that being said, I'm going to head on out. Take everybody. We'll see you soon. And peace.